Uh, just, uh, I think Coach Fitch has done a great job of really challenging a lot of the skilled players to turn and make something happen with it. We have been very content to catch the ball and fall down. Uh, we have not been trying to catch the ball, break two tackles, and turn and go the distance. And that has been a, a statistic we've kept the first part of the season. Those big long runs come because you break tackles. You don't just run untouched, you know, until you run into the goal line. Uh, you gotta, you gotta earn it. I think the offensive line did a great job of getting the, a lot of the skill guys to the second level, and I think they did a nice job of raising the standard and expectation in order for us to be a good offense. We've got to make some things happen. I mean. Just catching the ball because you're open in zone and falling down is not a plus to me. You know, I mean, I expect a receiver to catch the ball. If you can't catch it, you play DB. I mean, but I expect you to catch the ball. And so that's where we've just got to raise our standard and our expectations for what's expected when we get the ball in open space. And I think these players really accepted the challenge. <coughs> Lindsey Lamar, uh, you look at B.J. Daniels' run, who made a number of people miss. Uh, Lindsey Lamar getting in the end zone, competing the way he was, making them get him on the ground. I think a lot of those big runs, they made a couple people miss. And that's, uh, I think the offensive staff deserves a lot of credit for raising the standard of what the expectation level is and not being content with just a win. Uh, but I think these players deserve a lot of the credit too for making some second effort great runs. See, if I know at the moment Turner Scott got hurt, you know, nobody knew of his condition, but what was the effect on the staff and the players as you just kind of assess? Well, right, right away, um, they told me on the field that it was his head, that they were concerned about not his neck, and that was as much <laughs> precautionary, you know, that they were going to turn and take uh, a lot of precautions anytime you have a head trauma and somebody goes to the ground the way that Terrence did on that play. Uh, so I immediately said to the player, uh, to the coaches, I mean, you know, I to mean Terrence right now, I mean, they're, they're worried right now about a concussion. It wasn't like he was out of the woods, it was wrong. <laughs> But right now it's not his neck and he can't move everything. Um, but that was the only thing I said about it. And then we, we continued to play. Skip, was you've he had, out? You've had moments like this in other games. I mean, is it, is it, I mean, I'm sure it's never, it's never easy to see. never easy, when, especially when you look at all the hard work and everything that's gone into it. It's unfortunate that injury is part of this game, and it is part of this game. And um, you know, concussions have become a major topic of conversation and a major topic of concern for every program around the country as they are looking at what we need, all need to do to turn and try and help eliminate them, whether it's the equipment, but the game is getting, guys are getting so big and so fast and so physical and strong, uh, the collisions are getting greater and greater. And um, it's, never, it's never easy to go through something like that. It's scary, it is, because you have such a relationship with the young man. It's not the football player, it's the young man that you see uh, laying there injured. Skip, was he out when he, when he went down? I don't, I don't know if he was knocked out. I, his eyes were open. I mean, his eyes were open, but uh, he immediately went down and kind of, he was right there on our sideline, right in front of us. Um, a scary moment, scary moment, but I do not know if he was knocked out. That would be a question for the trainers. Skip, is BJ, look, he looks about as comfortable as maybe he's been in a long time with, with you. Did, do you feel that way also? I, I think BJ is very comfortable. I said, everybody asked what the difference year one to two was, and I keep talking about poise, confidence, uh, where he is in the offense right now, the way he's seeing the field, the way he's managing the game, the way he's protecting the ball, not putting it in danger. Uh, he is, I, I think BJ has done an outstanding job in the first four games of the year. I, I think he has made huge strides, and I think he deserves that credit. He went through an awful lot last year as a young starter, that had been through three coordinators and three years learning three offenses and never really had the opportunity to learn how to play quarterback in college. Uh, he went through a lot of criticism early in the year last year when we lost a couple games. But I thought the way that he battled back, the way he finished the season at Clemson, the way that he's responded in the offseason this year, the leadership role that he's taken with this team, and the way that he's playing out there right now with the poise and confidence, um, I think is he deserves an awful lot of credit for the hard work he's put into and what he's been through to get to where he is right now. Proud of him. Really proud of him. Do you feel that the uh, reserves are where they need to be for conference play? No. No. And I feel comfortable saying that because most of our reserves are on special teams. We've tried to take most of our backups and put them there. I worry about our depth right now. I worry about injuries. Like I said, we had one corner go out today and we're not, we're not, we're not the same defense. 
you know, and that's something that we've got we've got to do a better job as a staff, as a team. Everybody's got to take that responsibility to come up. I think some guys are coming along and some guys are merging, but we're not where we need to be right now. We are a work in progress, and we've got to get better than where we are right now.